Yo, Elliot, hope all is well with you. I have a question uh, about taking the approach of doing what's in front of you. I tend to procrastinate on doing what's in front of me because I feel like I have more important things to do elsewhere. How do you discern when you should spend time doing the seemingly mundane and low value tasks that are right in front of you versus choosing to spend time doing something else of higher priority? For example, being in your room and seeing that it needs to be organized, but leaving to go work out instead because it's more important. And a follow up question in the moments that you have when you have nothing in front of you, especially uh, specifically, you must decide what's the best way to spend your time. How do you go about that pro process, practically speaking? So this reminds me of a, a very important story that Brian Tracy tells in The Luck Factor. And it's an old story that's been told over and over again to different businessmen. I, I can't remember the exact character, who the characters were in this story, but essentially there's a, a powerful businessman whose company is doing well, but it could do better. And a guy comes into his office one day and he says, hey, I know I have a special technique that will help your business continue to grow. And so, you know, they negotiate whatever the case may be. And the guy and finally he, he agrees to teach him this secret. Here's the secret to taking your business to the le next level, mister. And so here was the secret that he shared with him. And that was to create lists, lists. He says, always have a list of everything that needs to be done in your business, in your life, and so forth, right? In fact, I mean, I still use this to, the, to this day, right? And I'm going to show you how you can take it to the next level. Where are my lists? Look at this. Lists. I don't know if you can see that. Don't read my list. There's good stuff on this list. Anyway, here's my list. You should always have a list of things that are, like I say, in the massive action plan, there are things that, that are heartbeat. These are things that you need to do every day, whether you feel like it or not, right? Like brushing your teeth and taking a shower. These are heartbeat things. These are things you don't need to, re you don't even need on your list. You don't think about, right? They're just things that you, you do every single day. They keep the wheels spinning in your life and in your business. But then there are all the creative works that you need to be done, right? And all the mundane tasks that need to be done to keep things going. And so this, this, this practice of lists is take it to the next level by prioritizing your lists. And so one of the ways, and I, and I share this in the Massive Action Plan, and there are different iterations of this, is to prioritize by A, B, C, D, right? When you go through your list, there are different things that require your attention and different things that need to be done away with. And here's how you do it. This is all in the Massive Action Plan that you guys should study and restudy again because I teach you all this stuff. This is how you get things done in the transfer in the King Transformation course, right? But it applies to everything else in your life. So when you go through that list, there's the things that you must do. You give that an A. I and only I can do it. And you give all those things A. The things that you need to uh, eliminate, there's some things that you need to delegate, and there's things that you need to um, uh, just, just get off your list, right? What was, I, I forget how I taught it to you in the lesson. But anyway, there are things that EDAD, that's what it was, eliminate, delegate, so on and so forth. I can't remember. <laughs> the chopping block, baby. That's right, Dimitri. So you need to go in there. You need to go, yeah, automate. Thank you, automate. So you need to go into your list and decide what, are you gonna, what do you need to do? What do you really don't need to do? What are you going to chop off your list? What are you going to automate? And what are you going to delegate? Right. And that way, things that for me, delegation has has not been the easiest thing for me to do in my life. But as I've gotten older and my time has gotten thinner. Right. My, I don't have as much time as I did when I was younger. Uh, I found great value and pleasure in getting help from other people. Right. So, for example, you say that you, you, know, you see your room needs to be cleaned, but there are more important things for you to do outside. You say I need to go work out. Well, then, you know what you do? You hire a cleaning person. Right. Right? There's a, we have a lot of things to do in, on the Strength Camp Ranch, right? We got, my wife is actively teaching my children right now. She's doing homeschool. Before that, I was training them in the garage, and we did Bible study this morning. After I get off the call with you guys, I'm going to do spend some time with my dogs out, outside in my orchard, so on and so forth, right? And like I said, I'm going to start with the livestock. There's so, many, there's so many different things to do. You can't do all of them. I can't do all those things. 
So one of them includes cleaning the house, right? My wife used to clean the house, but then when we realized, wow, you could spend two hours, three hours cleaning the house or something that you can't delegate, teach the children. Only she can do the best teaching for the children if we're homeschooling, right? She's the one that's set up for that. So now instead of her cleaning the house, she's homeschooling, doing something that's more important, that's higher up on the list. And we pay, I don't know, a couple hundred, maybe $200 a month for this small business as a local company to come in here and then they, they clean up the house there and they do it better than we would have done it. Right. Because that's their only job. Their only focus is clean every corner of this house so that these people can continue to live their lives and not have to do something that's of a lower priority. So that's delegating, right? That's delegating. You want to find ways to delegate the things that you, that are important, but you just can't do right. Cleaning your room's important, but maybe you can get somebody to clean your room for you. Right. Does that make sense? And here, here's another thing. You don't have to go out of your way too far to find help, right? Like, so for example, I delegate responsibilities to my children. I'll even pay them sometimes depending on what it is, right? If I'm leaving, like, so for example, I, the other day I had to leave for the whole day. Well, when I leave for the whole day, my dogs don't get, they, they need somebody to be, I'm the one that takes care of the dogs for the most part, right? So I pay my daughter, I say, hey, would you be willing to spend the day caring for the dogs? That means spend some time outside with them, feed them, make sure they're using the bathroom, put them on the tie out, you know, take them in and out of the crate, so on and so forth, right? So that's something that you, that's something that you can do. You can maybe hire your little sister, right? Like say, hey, I'll give you 10 bucks if you clean my room, right? You could hire the people that are around you to help you with certain things. And so I think that will be helpful to you, dude. I think that will uh, take your game to the next level. And that's my opinion on that. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.